Want to learn about stocks, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, and the metaverse? Join richtv.io. Hey guys, how you doing? This is your host of the most, your boy Rich from Rich TV Live. And I have a new pick for you today. Put your attention to GRD in Canada, GRDAF in America on the OTCQB exchange in America on the Toronto Stock Venture Exchange in Canada. Grounded Lithium Corp. I'm a huge fan of lithium. We're getting into a world where electrification is being mandated by 2030 by many, many countries. Everyone is going electric. And one of the key ingredients, one of the key pieces of electric vehicles is lithium. So we've been looking and hunting for lithium deals, lithium companies, companies that are mining lithium, companies that are drilling for lithium, companies that are pulling lithium out of the ground because there's literally a shortage of lithium. And I believe, and we believe here at Rich TV Live, the lithium will absolutely explode. And I'll talk to you today about Grand Lithium Corp, the symbol in Canada, GRD. GLC is a publicly traded lithium brine exploration and development company that controls 2.9 million tons of lithium carbonate equivalent of inferred resource over their focused land holdings in Southwest Saskatchewan. That's right, Southwest Saskatchewan in Canada. GLC's multifaceted business model involves the consolidation, delineation, and exploitation, and ultimately development of their opportunity base to fulfill their vision to build the best in-class, environmentally responsible Canadian lithium producer supporting the global energy transition shift. And we're going to talk about it right here, right now, exclusively on Rich TV Live. We're going to break down some huge news. We're going to look at the chart. We're going to break down their entire corporate presentation, their share structure, their team. Don't touch that dial right here, right now. This is this is Grounded Lithium in America, GRDAF. They just got listed on the OTC QB exchange last week. And you can see they are starting to climb up 46% today alone, GRDAF. People are just starting to get to know it. And in Canada, GRD, Grounded Lithium. We're going to take a look at the stock here and take a look at the chart. You can see it's climbing up nicely today. Bigger than average volume, nice volume on it today. And if we go to the last three months, we can clearly see how it's performed. It's got a low of 24 cents, a high of 49 cents, and it's really climbing nicely right now, currently sitting at 42 cents, very, very bullish, up 10% on the day. And once again, the average three-month daily volume of 28,000, today the volume is at 198,000 shares traded in Canada, GRD, on the Toronto Stock Venture Exchange. All right, I'm very excited about Grounded Lithium Corp, GRD in Canada, GRDAF in America on the OTC QB exchange. This is their website, groundedlithium.com. Feel free to go to the website and learn more about the company. They also have all of their socials on here, which I am following them on. This is their Facebook. I am following them on Twitter. This is their Twitter following them very closely, watching everything they are doing. And this is their LinkedIn. Okay. They had some big breaking news. This is also their corporate presentation, which I'll go through some of the key elements of their corporate presentation. But it's important to know that they are an exciting entrant in Canadian lithium resource development. And that's why I believe you need to put them on your radar and put them on your watch list right here, right now. Now, Let's talk about the news that they have, which is huge news. Grounded Lithium provides positive operational update on recent lithium test well and associated concentration results. Grounded Lithium Corp is pleased to announce results from recent field activities. GLC drilled the second ever dedicated lithium well, the 4-15 well in the province of Saskatchewan during the summer of this year. Completion work along with extensive analysis and interpretation of the completion results ensued over the last several months. 
This was combined with other associated field work with respect to lithium concentration testing on both the 4-15 well and third-party wells in the surrounding area. The company has been diligent in advancing operational results to determine the extent and economic potential of our Kindersley Lithium Project, which I will show you shortly. And you can find all this information right on the company website. The company has also commissioned an updated technical report pursuant to National Instrument 43101, Standards for Disclosure for Mineral Projects, NI 43-101. The company has materially added to the KLP land base, as well as securing additional key data since the publishing of the inaugural KLP NI 43-101 technical report. The company will communicate results of our new technical report once finalized. So this is the key paragraph in the news release. Stemming from this detailed assessment, we anticipate the optimal well design for production operations features a short up to 700 meter horizontal or direction section at minimal increment costs upon entering the targeted Dupro zone to deliver well productivity rates up to 29,000 barrels a day, dolomitized reservoirs with this quality of porosity and permeability do not require costly fracture stimulations to enhance productivity. Despite a robust maximum flow parameter based on best practices in reservoir exploitation, we target a more conservative producing well flow rate of 18,000 barrels a day of brine. At these brine production rates, taking into consideration modest price forecasts for battery grade lithium feedstock, lithium from brine projects are expected to achieve a compelling economic proposition. These well parameters, together with a detailed assessment of capital and operating costs, will be included in our preliminary economic assessment, otherwise known as a PEA, on the KLP anticipated to be completed in Q2 2023, right around the corner. Now, let's just say you're on the website here and you wanna learn more about Kindersley. All you gotta do is scroll to the top, go to Opportunity right here, and you can learn more about Lithium and learn more about the Kindersley project. Now, since we are talking about the Kindersley project, important to know where it is, what it looks like, and really get to know what it's all about. Now you can see here all the company information. If you want to get in contact with the company, you want to learn more, feel free to get in contact with them. And you can even stay in touch by putting your email in here and getting all the information right to your fingertips. This information is all right on the company's website. And you can go to opportunity and learn more about lithium. And why is lithium so important? because we are moving into a world of electrification of electric vehicles. You've seen what Tesla has done and lithium is one of the key elements in electric vehicles. You can see strong demand growth is expected for EV sales, renewable energy projects and battery capacity growth. And that's why I believe you need to put your attention right now to this company. And let's hear directly from the CEO. Corporately, we're very pleased and excited to be a new entrant into the lithium space and joining some of our more established peers in moving this new industry forward. For us, our journey began several years ago when we started asking ourselves some questions. Where are the lithium rich brines found? Why are they there? What's the mechanism for putting them there? Where else could they be? And how do we pursue this while minimizing our full cycle development costs? The grounded core group of proven resource developers independently acquired rights to 35 sections of land, after which we initiated our first public raise in late 2021. And now we can report that we've progressed. We have over 250 sections of very targeted land acquisitions, acquisitions for the quality of resource that is now supported by a strong inferred resource report of 2.9 million tons of lithium carbonate equivalent in place. Our attention now focuses on delivering field results for our shareholders, and that'll be done through field activity. We'll be re-entering existing wells, sampling some other existing wells, and drilling our own wells 
to prove up resource and deliverability. We are comfortable with where we sit today um, with our balance sheet. We have sufficient capital to continue moving our current plan forward to prove the quality of our opportunity. And we look forward to continuing our ex execution plan and ensuring our shareholders are aware of our progress on their behalf in this voyage of discovery and exploitation. So love to know what you think about this news. I think it's huge, big breaking news, and I would love to get your feedback. And of course, we love to bring you the news here at Rich TV Live, and we love to bring it to you first. What do you think of this news on Grounded Lithium Corp? Now, important as well to look at their presentation. This is their corporate presentation, and you can see here it's a 22-page 22 pre 22 presentation, and you can see here the corporate vision build a best-in-class, environmentally responsible Canadian lithium producer. And you know, I love to identify undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed companies first. And I believe this to be one of those opportunities. North American battery supply chain industry rapidly expanding to complete globally provides strong, sustainable tailwinds. And for early investors, this is an opportunity to get in literally at the start when we're in a world where there's a shortage of lithium. There just is, and these guys are literally drilling. You can see here the leadership team, very important to know who's behind the project. A disciplined resource development professionals with a history of economic success. Once again, there's Greg Smith, the president and CEO. Dale Shipman, VP of operations. Wayne Gaskin, VP of Geophysics and IT, Greg Fanuf, VP of Finance and CFO, and Jeff Spears, VP of Exploration, and Lawrence Fisher, VP of Land and Regulatory. Very important to know the team behind the project. And capitalization, obviously here at Rich TV Live, we love to know the share structure. We love to know everything about the company. So let's break it down. So GLC ownership is... For the insiders, 12.5%. So they got skin in the game. Retail is 72.5%. Huge retail position in the company. And institutional, 15%. So you can see the common shares, basic, 68.9 million. And fully diluted with all warrants, management incentives, finder warrants, financings to date. Fully diluted, 90.6 million shares. So it's under that. 100 million share uh, zone where we like to be. Exercise of all dilutes brings a further $8 million into the company. So once they exercise all those shares, they'll be well capitalized. Now, why invest in a robust value proposition to investors? Provide critical exposure to the macro energy transition shift. Represent an early entry point with substantial torque on investment with execution of business plan. Business plan targets to become a leading Canadian supplier of battery-grade lithium, proven resource development team, history of value creation in the energy industry directly transferable to lithium from Brian's, operates in a tier one jurisdiction with a favorable business climate for resource development and proximity to key infrastructure, well-funded over short to medium term to execute on initial stages of business plan and provide ongoing catalysts. So you can see the measured strategy designed to achieve operational wins and successes while minimizing dilution to shareholders. Obviously, music to my ears, shareholders will benefit from public valuations approaching, approaching intrinsic NAV as team executes plan. So huge potential for growth and we're bringing it to you first. Love to know what you think. Once again, this is the website, groundedlithium.com. And once again, the stock in Canada, GRD.V on the Toronto Stock Venture Exchange. And in America, GRDAF on the OTCQB Exchange.